this is a direct continuation, I guess, of the Knife of Dunwall. The Brigmore Witches, uh, this is uh, Delilah, who we saw in the talking statue and in the end cutscene, trying to get Dowd betrayed by his lieutenant. Um, I'm curious to see when this takes place, um, given that we know, we know where Dowd ends up. Yes, you can use your progression. I uh, retrieve your equipment and powers. Hell yes, let's do that. That's cool. So it is a direct continuation, which makes me hope that uh, Dishonored Two, you can pull a continuation from, uh, from your your previous game. Yeah. So you notice they keep changing the names of the difficulty levels. A brutal experience. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna just do veteran. Yeah, that's fine. We're we're good. We're good to go. All right. You've been ill at ease ever since you assassinated Empress Jessamine Caldwin and aided the abduction of her daughter Emily. Yeah. yeah. So this just picks directly the up. That right? bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. Well, they have cars, like these cool little like metal car and things. Now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district, mm -hmm. and I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the empire. Yeah, I'd say I was being punished. But I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. Yeah, basically... <clears throat> basically, Dunwall has, um, like, Google's self-driving cars. They just happen to be on rails. The men are recovering well from the attack. But they don't understand the danger they're in. My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. It's good advice. Oh, okay. Corvo, here to settle our debt. You understand. I won't make this easy for this you. This isn't quite how I remembered it going. Get out of here. Corvo fights a lot more effectively than I ever did. So is this in a? Oh, I was. Was I dreaming? Was it? A, was it all a dream? It appears to have been. Hard to say. Dunwall, the seat of power in the known civilized world, the Empire of the Isles. It is our great capital, and has been brought low by vermin. The very thought galls. We're faced with the reality that our once great city is in a state of shambles. And the few remaining domiciles in any habitable condition are the estates of the wealthy enough to ward themselves against that reality. A city cannot continue to thrive, populated only by the upper classes and their cloistered sycophants. Even if the plague were gone tomorrow, in its present state, Dunwall doesn't have enough hardy people of working age to return the city to everyday function. 
We must find a way to attract more residents, which requires removing the cloud of fear brought about by the current regime. The Lord Regent and his lackey are bad for business, my friends. So it falls on us. A plague and a tyrant must be overcome. And after that, we must undertake a third miracle, turning the screws on the obscenely wealthy, forcing them to pay back into the place that have given them their privileged lives. It is the powerful and fortunate who must pay for the rebuilding of Dunwall, even if the poorest will bear the stones and timbers of reconstruction on their back. All this must happen for the dormant machine of commerce to restart. Without that, we're all forfeit, and the greatest city of our age will be lost. Well. Okay. Yeah, so this is either an alternate reality from what we saw in the main game, or this is, a, this is like a dream, or the outsider's fucking with me. They say my mother was a witch, but the truth, as is so often the case, depends on perspective and your place in the world. She relied on poisons made from exotic herbs and the blowfish that live in the reef waters near Pandesia. Her power originates in the hallucinogenics delivered through guile or by force to those who crossed her. There was an unusual intensity in her gaze for certain, but it came from within. It was weird. Uh, let's see. Not from the outsider. It's what happens to anyone pushed to the absolute edge of sanity and survival who stays there for years and returns to walk among the sheep in so-called society. My mother was crafty, but if it was anything more than powders, hidden knives, and guile, I never saw it. Like they tell children, some of those truly touched by the black-eyed bastard can move through the space between rooftops like a sparrow. Others command armies of rats or poisonous flies as easily as they wriggle their fingers and toes. The overseer has a right to fear us, to warn the common folk to stay near their houses at night and keep their families close. There are other ways his influence manifests itself. And these books get longer and longer. Uh, you remember how in the first one like they were fairly short? These are like, mm, hello, welcome to Skyrim. Those who serve me share in some of what I can do, and I suspect it's the same for Delilah Copperspoon's coven. There are those who can craft runes and charms. The old woman across town, they call her Granny Rags. She carves and polishes the bones of whales, stringing them together and opening them to the void till they moan like the fever sick on a cold night. I found a few of her talismans. With each one I touched, a tiny piece of me departed and settled in with her. What does she gain? A longer life? Some other power I don't understand? The making of such things is beyond me. I've known four people in my time who carried the mark of the outsider, but I've known dozens more who've wanted it, who've stood at night in stagnant ponds or begged with the dust blowing through graveyards, people who gutted farm animals or burned the flesh of men, thinking it would call forth the void. I met a dying man once who collected runes and charms for years. He crushed them all into powder, made a paste, and ate them, thinking he could gain whatever magic was in the thing. His death was long and painful. I knew a woman from Karnaka who would trade for charms and other bits of whalebone. She cracked them apart and fused them back together and sold them. I bought one of these corrupted charms that she swore would cause sharp metal to break on my skin, and it worked. But each time I did, one of my teeth turned black and fell out. After the third time, I gave it to one of my men. Now, when he smiles, it's all bleeding gums, and I wonder what parts inside him are turning back. Oh, it's all bleeding gums, Murphy. Sometimes I ask myself, without these gifts, would I be a man to fear? Would I be called the Knife of Dunwall with my name whispered through the markets and alleyways, the high towers and drawing rooms? I'd like to think so, but it doesn't really matter. As long as I bear this mark, I'll use whatever craft I have to force my will on the world. The harder trick is undoing what I've done. The, the lusty Argonian. Yeah, also, Dad, stick to killing people and less to writing. Ooh, corrupted bone charms, Ant. Yeah, all right, new thing in the game. So where's the corrupted ones? How do we know? Here we go. Overall movement speed is increased. Damage taken is increased. Well, shit. Where's my fast choking one? Strong arms is the best. Like, just hands down the best. And, okay, I need another one that... Let's just bump my... My max health slightly. That'll do. I still hear more, like there's a rune or something around here, but... Let's see where it is. Downstairs. I just leave these things lying around? Come on, man. My cool drow hand crossbow. This sweet rune, which I strap on to something. And my cleaver. Hell yeah. 
So I have pull now. Pull inanimate objects towards you. Consumable items are used or stored immediately. Ooh, that seems cool. Um, I'm gonna take that. Force yank. What again? Thomas finished his scouting run. When you've talked to him, I'll give you the latest word from inside the prison. I don't want to drink a potion. Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Coldridge? We can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? Um, I have to explore the base. Pleasure. Because there's more, there's more loot. There's more loot to be found. Taking prisoners is exactly the sort of thing I'm talking about. You don't have to remind me. It's Billy's doing that the overseers found us. That wasn't Dow. Dow should have caught it. And now witches. He's not the man he was. I'm right oh, here, you idiots! Going to get us killed. Come on! Rude. So rude. Yeah, I didn't see, is there another, um... Is there another bone charm? I don't think that there is. As far, like, as far as assassins goes, these guys are not very subtle. Hey. Hey. Anytime you think I'm a little soft, there you go. you're welcome to come by my office. Bring a blade. I'll fight you. Fight me. Fight me, assassins. Okay. I think I've got, yeah, I think i got everything. There's no way to check how many I've collected in the level and how many are left, is there? No. Okay, well, I guess we can leave now. Prison friend. Yeah, there we go. Good. Two of two, one of one. Nothing. No, defeated Corvo in a dream. No, so it was a dream. Okay. No, I want to continue. You need Lizzie Stride's boat to reach Delilah's stronghold to Brigmore Manor. Unfortunately, the leader of the Dead Eels gang is locked up in Coldridge and you gotta break her out. Oh, this is the. Delilah Lizzie Stride is the sharp teeth lady anymore. that they took out that boat. She doesn't have to. Oh, cool. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's up river, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players, gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river, someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall, or perhaps myself. <sighs> She's After awesome. Years, <laughs> the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. Scary Lizzie teeth. Stride is in jail. Gotta go rescue Lizzie Stride from jail. And then she can bite our faces off. Okay, so I can use my spy network. Which, of course, I want to do. I only have 500 coins, though, so... 
Disguised as an overseer. Wicked. Forged requisition to get stun mines in the prison. Hell's yes. And a rune. Gotta get that rune. Alright, now I probably don't have... Yeah, I just have to buy some sleep darts. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one. We're, we're poor. We're poor. But I do have stun mines, so that's cool. Alright, let's go meet, meet with Lizzie. This should get me in the front door at least. Looks like I'll need to check in with those guards by the gate. <laughs> like we're just doing this in sight of the guards. Overseer. Hmm. About time, Overseer. We sent for you hours ago. Okay. It was you a like problem that. with the water lock. Fine. Listen up. The incident took place in the interrogation room. Cross the yard and keep going straight. Anything else is off limits. Understand? Don't go exploring. Don't speak to the prisoners. We're not here to listen to you preach. Don't forget you're in Coldridge now, not the Abbey. We asked you here for one reason. I'll be gone before you know it. Magic will not work. Great, okay. Mission clues updated. Cell controls above the courtyard, prisoner cell blocks, and execution yard are off limits. Okay, so avoid that shit. Additional security installations along the execution yard wall are complete. Additional work at the main gate will continue throughout the coming days. All workers must show identification during the duration of the construction. Execution of personnel responsible for enabling the escape of the former Lord Protector will continue. The execution yard remains off limits. All logbook entries must contain the prisoner name and destination cell number. The logbook is in the guard booth between C and D. Yeah, okay. A reminder, the Coldridge prison remains under martial law. Guards are authorized to use lethal force against any unidentified or unauthorized persons on the premises. Remember to take extra care in logging transfers. Even temporary transfers must be recorded. Okay, yep, I know. Better eat these eels. It's gonna be a long trip. Shouting. Is this an alarm or a? That's oh, an arc pylon. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to kill anybody. This mask won't fool an arc pylon. See Corvo train, haven't you? Once you had the key, there was no stopping. Section B will remain closed to the conclusion of the investigation of the escape of Corvo Otano. Prisoners have been moved into cells on the other side of the prison. Right then. Stop a man who make a jump like that, like he doesn't care, or like he's more than human. You think he's a... Uh, I think we played that overseer noise for a reason. I think there's more happening here than any of us know. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I want to use my cool powers. Oh, I can. It said that my magic was disabled. All right. Not that disabled, apparently. Good thing I checked. I would never have retrieved this bone charm. Right through there. Can't miss it, rats. None of the guards that went in the question are here. I'll be careful. We move them all into A section. Anyone see the problem with this? Yeah, it's nice. What happened here? <laughs> Whoa, roasted.
Let's see, interrogation log number 425. Prisoner 354A-9123, goal. Location of collaborator in theft of goods. Method, heated metal bolts, supplied defeat. Uh. Promising response at first, but the subject lost consciousness due to shock. Wow, confession to vandalism. Method, sleep deprivation. Disorientation, subject, subject falsely confessed to crime as well as other unrelated acts. Location of a weapon cache tied to attacks on river patrol checkpoints. Give him the tank. Tank mechanism malfunction. Subject drowned. Great. Name of conspiracy organizer. Engagement with phobia. Spiders. Subject divulged the information for the hatch to the spider basket was even opened. Oh, spider basket. Dear Officer Ashfield, I would most humbly request access to documents concerning the new experimental choke dust which you may have found yourself in possession of. I understand this is a delicate subject matter, and I assure you every precaution will be taken with the documents to ensure they remain confidential. If access to these documents is agreeable to you, have your men deliver them to my cell. Respectfully, your friend in A25. I should check out A25. She's strapped in right. Good. Doesn't look like much, does she? Comfortable? All right. We'll get this done. Let's start with how you got into Dunwall Tower in the first place. Was it one of the servants that let you in? One of the guards? Nothing? All right. Corporal, use the hammer. That's right. The smaller one. Can't really tell if she felt that. Don't want to break anything. Let's try again. How did you... Wait. You hear a kind of ringing in your ears? What's happening to her face? Is she going to... Oh no! Oh no! Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot her! Yikes. Well, that's a mess. So weird being able to just walk around. But I can do it once the cell doors open. You, how? This ring is outside, though. I wonder if it's on the way out. Yeah, that that must be an on the way out kind of rune. Cause it's way the hell down there. Okay, we'll we'll save that one for later. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a hotkey for that, that I could just flip it on and off. Keep the hatters away from the eels. The one in section D, cell 11, tried to attack that former dead eel leader again. We can't afford any additional investigations or mistakes, so keep them apart. Right. Man, I'm digging this, like, getting to explore as... Like, getting to explore the prison as um, someone who isn't immediately caught when they get looked at. It's pretty neat. Ooh, a forbidden area. I guess that's where I have to go now. I guess that's it. I guess the time is up. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I'm just standing on this balcony for no reason at all. Did you hear Morris was dragged off by the overseers for some black magic nonsense? Please, not now. Cell doors. 
Ugh, that would be chaotic. Oh, I see, I have to, it doesn't just open all of them. Set the first tumbler for the letter, second and third to number, pull the lever. Okay. I gotta go find out where Lizzie is. I like that coming in and out of the uh, of the restricted area doesn't get you in trouble, but just being in there does. <laughs> All right, so I gotta go over. I'm gonna go over the wall there. Okay. I wonder if that guy will see this. Yep. <laughs> or no? I don't really know what happened there. When I get out of here, I'm gonna tear you apart. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Just give me the one chance. I'll never ask anything again. I'll find you. Oh, they saw me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I want to see if there's a way that I can assign... Let's see here. Controls. Key mapping. Shortcut one. Yeah, see, that just pulls up the ability, right? Like, I can just go... Basically, I want to like I wanted to I wanted to activate without switching what I'm currently on, which is a a thing the UI can't presently do, as far as I know. Which is fine; it's not a big deal. Okay, let's go. I suppose I want to go over this area, but there's all these dudes here. Can I teleport into that room? Yeah, I can. Oh, but this is just around the corner. <laughs> Everything's all disorienting because I only look at it in um, eagle vision. Okay, I get it. The logbook. Everyone knows where the logbook is. It's totally okay. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so if not here, I guess, I mean, I guess this is the part where the costume stops doing anything, right? It's let me in, I'm supposed to go in and do one thing, but I've kind of reached the edge of my capacity as that. Oh, yeah. It's all purple in there. Let me see, I wonder if I can teleport through here. No. Um, but yeah, I've reached, the, I've reached the end of the capacity of this particular uh, disguise. So it's time to get sneaky in the usual way. Excuse me. Excuse me. God, that's so cool. Witch explosion. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess that's it. So I do have to go over the edge there. Gotta find that logbook. So this, this mission so far feels a lot more like kind of the regular Dishonored, the main game fair. Feels a little bit more like a sort of linear, like you're moving through a space. Um, hey, what? Sh shut up. Is that on the ceiling of this guy's? No, it's above. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. If you want the if you want the runes, you have to open the right. Uh, you have to open the right doors. All right. Well, let's do that. Let's go find out what door that's in. Just give me the one chance. I'll never ask. Let's 
cell is this? How do you know what cell door to open? Oh, here we go. It says right there. All right, that's D11. So that one is D21. Okay. D21. And also, we'll choke this guy out while we're at it. Good night. Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. It is literally a level from the main game. Um, recontextualizing stuff for the DLC is actually something I think is kind of cool. Like, you could, I guess, if you were being critical, you could consider it, you can consider it lazy, um, because they don't have to redesign the level. But I think that it is cool repurposing it. It's cool seeing things from a different way. It's like playing Castlevania in mirror mode, right? Like. It's a totally different experience, even though the dis the, the construction of the, the environment is the same. Hells yes. Where's that rune? Nice in the toilet. This better be worth it. <laughs> what do we get? Vengeance. Oh, it's a high chaos one. Okay. Okay. Cool. We found a secret room. I'm not doing it. Not me. Not like the rest of them. So let's see. We gotta figure out. He's trying. There she is. She's in rough shape. Okay. So this is cell D24. I'll never ask anything again. I'm not doing it. Not me. Not like the rest of them. Um, well, that was not a good it was not a graceful move on my part. Uh, probably because I had the wrong ability picked. There we go. <laughs> So 24, right? D24. All right, Lizzie. Let's go wake her up. Sleep darts I bought. I guess I don't have them. Well, that's alright. Just give me the one chance. I'll never ask anything. Lizzie. Wake up, Lizzie. Mm. I'm not telling you shit. Wait. No. Down. Is that right? Whoever sent you, I'll pay double. I've come to break you out. You can owe me the favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. Gosh, she's so cool looking. I'm dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockade. Her, her Kraken tattoo that like goes from her upper arm and like onto her face. Now it belongs to someone else. My second in command double crossed me and took it. Ah, the Undine, sweet. Shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. Oh man, Lizzie, you are red. Alright, uh. Oh, yeah, she has bare yeah. feet, right? I think I. Oh, oh shit. Now I have to carry her out. God damn it. Damn it, Elizabeth. Oh, this is gonna be intense. <laughs> I have to lug her all the way out of the prison. Okay, um, maybe I'll just leave her in her cell. 
and I will try to find... Maybe I'll try to find that key. Just hang out there for a sec, Liz. We need to find a guard that has the key. I'm not doing it. Not me. No. Neither of those. It's going to start any moment. And I'll do it. Two, two guards out. Let's see if we can get this one. I need to open one of these cells to use as a, a place to dump bodies. There's the key. Make room for the politicals. This never happened under the Empress. Someone will hear you. And it wasn't easy with the Empress around. She'd hold inspections with the royal protector trailing after her. Right. I wish we'd taken care of him. He knows our faces. He could come back any time. Yeah, or somebody else could come back and try to murder us. That would also be a thing that could happen. <laughs> nope. Coming for me? Oh god. The prisoner in cell A fourteen's been telling stories again. <laughs> what was it this time? Claims he overheard one of the others talking, planning an escape. Started shouting for the guards. He'll report anyone for an extra half ration. Huh? God damn it. <laughs> Saw that coming. Shit, I couldn't I couldn't tell if he was coming to the door or if he was just gonna stop and talk to that guy. Okay. So those two might be a bit of a tricky target. Um, let's let's see. Let's see if there's another way around. Why'd she take my money? God, I wish I had those darts that I purchased. I suppose I have grenades, but that's a little much. Hey, there's a sleep dart, but do I have my where's my launcher? Seriously, sleep darts, where are you? Ah, number four. Oh, there we go. I see, because now I have too many abilities. Okay, cool. I understand how it works. Just give me the one chance. I'll never ask anything again. I'm not doing it. Not me. Not like the rest of them. Dust grenades, I like these. Okay. Put that guy out now. There right now. Now I have that key. Now I can move around a little more freely. Okay. 
don't know why I clicked the wrong. I guess I just clicked the wrong button. That's fine. Still got two. I'm gonna open some more of these so I can. Help! Someone's breaking out. Oh, you are. Come quick! Someone is trying to escape. Get me out of here. What a dick. Alright, so I want to open... Where's the one that had all the loot in it? This is A13? Okay. I'm going to go back and open A13. The ambient noise in this level is creepy as hell. So we're we're I, I feel like the stealth the stealth thing is going pretty well. I think we're doing okay. I haven't had to like run and gun my way through any of these situations yet. Trembling hands. But it's early. Blood from the eyes. Any day now it'll start. Wicked. Cause there's stuff in there's stuff in all of these, eh? Ooh, schematic. Alright, I gotta go back and do A25 too. Now the guards using this one as a a break room. Alright, so how does this work? So A21, 22. Ah, there we go. Okay. Wonder what happened here. Okay, what did I say? A25? That has the, uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay, A25. We're just going shopping. We're doing prison shopping right now. Um, does the... Oh, yeah, that's right. I have that pull ability. Does that... Can I just yank through the bars? Let's try that. Oh, I sure can. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Okay, cool. I see how that works now. That's really neat. Okay, that saves me a lot of effort. <laughs> okay, so we've got... Um... What's going on down there? Misplaced room, sewer entrance. Uh... I'm going to scope out the entrance a little closer before... Uh, before I go get Lizzie. Hey, buddy. Okay. 
<laughs> a weird use of my powers. Pylon there that I need to do something about. I think this makes sense doing a little bit of like footwork first. Okay, good. So it's unpowered. Oh, this is this is the place I was in before. Well, let's go check out that storage locker. Oh, that's a good question. So, Gromish, uh, is there a way to know, just based on, like, talk, whether the Corvo of my Dowd playthrough is playing at, is high or low chaos? That's pretty cool. That's a good question. Hard to say, I think. Okay, so there's these jerks in here. These are the guys that really fucked with me before. I wish we'd taken care of that. He knows our faces. He could come back any time. Hi. Hello. Go to sleep. Now you. Man, people in, in the city have really, like, piss-poor peripheral vision. Hey, it's that prison cell log. Lucas Penrow, D11. Jane Cochran removed. Elizabeth Stride, D24. I don't know who Lucas Penrow is, but he's in D11. As request, your special order has been fulfilled. Ooh, a stun mine. Yeah, that's cool. I love mines. I love, like... I mean, not in real life. In real life, they're horrible. But the idea of, like, placing, um, placing traps for your enemies is really fun. The Shadow and I have that in, uh, in common. Okay, where's my stun mines? These will be... I'll put these on, uh, four. There we go. Three. No. Three. To perfect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a very GM thing to like. I always my favorite my favorite game mode in uh, Goldeneye was always Prox Mines. Always, always. I just love like it's like the same reason I like puns. Like a pun isn't really a joke. A pun is just a it's a verbal trap. You're setting a trap for someone, and what you really want is for them to stumble into the joke themselves. They come from the same place for me, mentally. Okay, uh, let's look around here. Uh, where's the entrance? Mm, through here. I'm going to keep clearing the path before I go get Lizzie. Wicked. Those things are awesome. That's a really good addition. I quite like that. <laughs> puns are like landmines they should both be considered a war crime it's true though like a pun like you tell a joke and you're like leading someone to a place right in the, mentally you're like i mean some some jokes people end up in this position where they're like oh okay like you're you're telling the joke and uh you know i'm wondering what the punchline is going to be but with a pun you're straight up just 
saying a painful thing. You're, 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 you're setting the trap. And the best part is when somebody realizes what the pun is before you even say it. There's that moment of like, huh? Ah, yeah, I'm gonna make a pun. Here it comes. You ready? I wonder if these guys will just let me walk out with her because I have my costume on. Probably not, hey? I need to get into the sewers another way. Aha, uh -huh, this, this would be it. They don't hesitate to kill their own. Otto's disappearance from custody. For gross dereliction of duty and the reasonable suspicion of treasonous conspiracy, I hereby sentence you to death. Oh no, to death? Ready. Take aim. Fire. Ugh. Private Morris, you refuse to pursue Corvo into the sewer complex on the day of his... <laughs> Jesus day. Christ, you guys are awful. You display cowardice in the face of a national crisis. And I hereby sentence you to death. Ready. Take aim. Fire. <laughs> Oh no. Officer Thorpe. You provided Corvo Atano the means. Oh no, Thorpe. And have confessed to receiving both money and plague serum in return. For high treason. I just want to watch these. I'll probably load and then try to save them. To death. Ready. Is he the only one out here? Fire. No. It's finished. There is two. Okay. All right. Let's um let's load. I just wanted to see what they were being um uh, what they were being accused of. I wonder how I can save them. They don't hesitate to kill their own. I guess I could just. Another Save them, or I just threw a stun grenade. Why is this guy lying on his face? Ah, oh, he's unconscious. Cool. I knocked him out, and the other two ran away. <laughs> Excellent. What the fuck is this? Hi. I'll just wait for the shift change and make a break. Good call. Okay, that worked out all right. Here, wait. Can't leave your friend here. That's not cool. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Sleepy guardsmen. Okay. Uh, good. I did it. So, does this lead me towards the sewer at all? Oh, it might. It might be. It might be that it does. Let's take a look up here. I mean, I, I could have done that a lot stealthier. Uh, the, in a way that didn't involve grenades, I imagine. Okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, All right. I found my escape route. I gotta go up and over. But, I think that these guys inside will probably throw a little fit if I sneak out with uh, old What's-Her-Face. So let's try and take them out, shall we? Um... How about we stop time for a second? Of course. Right. Nope. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, I should put a mine. I should put a mine on this guy's feet. That's what I'll do. We'll do this. Check it out. Uh, where's the time stoppy? Please, thank you. There we go. Man, time stopping, mind dropping. Time stopping, mind dropping, droppers of mines. All right, let's go get Lizzie. No, that's the yard. I don't need to go out there. Mm. 
Lizzie, they don't feed you very well in here. You're looking a little thin. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's take our new friend and we'll sneak her out. I feel like I'm like actually planning this mission instead of just like blasting through it. I'm feeling a lot more like stealth game than I was recently. Uh, here, let's jump and then. Like when I was doing the Knife of Dunwall, I felt like I wasn't doing quite as good a job of being sneaky. What the hell? Two oh, guys. Haha! The sneaky route. That's cool. Did I use the pipes this time? Yes, Macavara might have accidentally learninged. Now, I also have to go get that, that rune, which is down here, so carefully climbing down. Yep. Eh. Eh. Awesome. Got it. Two, two. No, no, I don't have the plague. It's fine. I'm totally plague free. Plague free since 1993. I've talked about how that's my that, that, that's my test for video games for whether the designers care or not. <laughs> if a designer of a video game cares, if you stand underwater and look up, you'll get it on your face. There you go, see? Dishonored, Arcane cares. Arcane gives a shit about the little things. Carrying a person is like the most difficult thing. They're like a big sack of potatoes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. That's what I said. How did we do? <gasps> I missed a bone charm. No. Oh no. See, that's why I don't like this. That's why I don't like this. Um, the 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 hand over the heart because the hand doesn't do as good a job telling me where the charms are. I keep missing them. I did great, otherwise I ghosted that whole playthrough. Shit. Well, I guess, should I replay it? What do you think? Should, I mean, not the whole thing, but I can go back to my last save. Oh, that's annoying. Ruined. <laughs> Cancel the whole playthrough. Uninstall. <laughs> um... It's one bone charm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just let's just carry on. I read that as the diapers ward. All right, so we're gonna take on the next mission. Uh, we'll take a short break first, and then we'll uh, we'll go back and uh, and we'll, we'll we'll keep playing on. All right. So stick around. Uh, short commercial break, and we will be right back.